no matter how excellent the wine you have, like if the, the consumer, the farmer, they don't like, it's not useful. So I think that's uh, quite important that they communicate together in these two days, not for the, uh, the presentation, but also the field check. Yeah. This year in the paper, we have uh, many varieties available. Yeah, and the sweet pepper we also available for combine the four kind of disease resistant. So I want to show the people which one we have potentially built. Because they put very minute. I'm not, not sure. Mm. But it's also like a bacterial mm. infection over there. Oh, there is a hole, see? Or did it happen just now? Mm. Mm. No infect? Okay. There's some larvae here. Mm. Oh, uh, moving, yes. It's, a, it's a very uh, deceiving, this pest. Ah. If it is early stage, you will see only small, small holes. And then later on, it becomes like that, and you may yeah. confuse with some other disease. Yes. But it's really two times, isn't it? Uh. Yeah. That is the. So people spray with you know fungicides but, and but all. But tuta, tuta, we will not, we will not hmm? know until making yeah. some hmm. other uh, tests and uh, hmm. checking the, the taxonomy and okay. like a proper identification. Yeah. Oh, Uh, we, we see crops, uh, tomato, and then later we, we saw bitter gourd, uh, yet to see peppers. And tomato was fantastic with the new combination of the genes. Especially more exciting was the combination of factor uh, 12 and 6, along with uh, TY1 and TY2 or TY3. So that was fantastic. Okay, yeah. great. And um, your experience with the consortium so far? Oh, it, it is good. It is good. Right. But we have more expectations, so maybe it's quite new. Uh, uh, this, uh, I would say it is the second year of uh, the continuation, and I, I would say that in future, many more, some, many more things to come. Thank great. you. I was very interested to see the tomato lines, because uh, just completed tomato lines. So there are promising lines uh, which will be good for Indian market. So we would like to extract those genes to our uh, lines and we need to develop very good hybrids using those. Because EverydayC has done a very excellent job in incorporating the triads from the wild species like TY1, Bactyl wheat, uh, Phytophthora. These are the very severe diseases in India. So I feel I'm very interested to look into those lines. This is David uh, here at the uh, Absent World Veg Consortium Field Tours. We're standing here in front of the uh, cucurbit and uh, pepper section. Uh, lots of interaction with companies, uh, getting to see lots of new exciting germplasm that will bring new virus uh, pest resistance and tap resistance to, uh, to growers in the field. So really excited about this. Oh. Too long? No such thing. Is the plant too small but the fruit is too long? No. It's, it's, it's good. <laughs> like yeah, but if you cannot, if you cannot sell it to the market. Oh, I bet. I think many people will pick this up. Oh, really? Yep. Everyone's interested. Very hot. Extremely spicy. I think so. What do you think? I think the germplasm level is very, very high. So okay. it will be very useful for commercial companies. Okay. How about you? Yeah. Um, 
Uh, I'm a tomato builder, so I could see a lot of trades being stacked in the lines and the quality of food as well improved okay. compared to other last few years. So really nice to see the trades being stacked. Thank you. It's okay. Now we have disease. How can we do And the reporter also they, uh, have interest in our uh, entry. Yeah. Uh, for for the chili, then with uh, multiple resistance. Okay. I come from Indonesia, so actually we have three types of hot pepper. Uh, big type, mm -hmm. maybe cayenne type, and mm -hmm. then the creating curly, Indian gunter type, mm -hmm. and then bird pepper. Okay. Yeah, and Indonesia have a lot of uh, disease incidents, so we need, we really need the uh, resistance. Okay. And how do you take care of that? You're asking tricky ones. <laughs> Genetic resistance for this one, Laura. Um. Yeah, I think that line is resistant to it. Oh no. Yeah, but you always have good years and bad years, and uh, you you can have. No, I, I accept my bad years. You know, yeah. that's what I said to you. That yeah. it's not as good as last year, but well, maybe next year. Good years and less good years. <laughs> <laughs> there's the wisdom. There, there's the real wisdom. Thank you. Yeah, yes. yeah. Well, the consortium, if I compare it with a couple of years ago when we make the first attempts of a consortium. Uh, I think it's more lively, it's more uh, vibrant, it's uh, more interaction between the companies and uh, will fetch. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that has uh, both parties are, have changed and I think they, uh, they are able to get closer now than uh, what used to be. Uh, it is very interesting actually, we get a lot of uh, interaction, a lot of interactions with scientists were there. Mm -hmm. And I talked with Dr. Sanjay, Dr. Derek and uh, especially with uh, uh, Dr. Dillo, mm -hmm. it is, uh, the talk from Dr. Dillo was very interesting, in fact a lot of promises there for uh, Bitter God. And I am in also contact with Dr. Sanjeet and uh, Dr. Dave for new projects. Mm -hmm. I have also suggested uh, some projects in CMS breeding himself okay. with the uh, leaf curl virus resistance. Okay. It is going good, in fact uh, we are thankful to uh, World Vegetable Center that uh, they are cooperating with us to betterment of the farmers. Thank you.